World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, the global community come together to address one of the gravest human rights abuses of our era. In Lagos, the event examined the complex challenges of human trafficking, giving voice to the reflected and underscoring the vital roles of government and civil society in combating this widespread crime. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubobokon was at the event and now reports. The event began with a solemn reminder from a NATO representative who emphasized the stark realities faced by billions trapped in northern day slavery worldwide. A diverse group of speakers from NGOs, including the International Organization for Migration, IOM, and the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NATIP, as well as activists and students, shared compelling stories and insights into the realities of human trafficking. You all agree with me that um, the most vulnerable, they are the children and the women when it comes to issues of human trafficking. And you also agree with me that human trafficking has become a world crisis, not only restricted to Nigeria or Africa. All the seven continents of the world are presently witnessing what we call human trafficking, modern day slavery, which had been from the creation of the world. We are working uh, with children is uh, many a times we are in the technological uh, world and rarely will you find a child who is uh, below uh, 10 years and above who doesn't know how to use the phone. And unfortunately, these are the same areas where it's been used by the recruiters in terms of recruiting them. So as part of catching them when they're young, that's why we are bringing this sensitization into the school. As you probably know, one of the under three person who are uh, a victim of um, human trafficking is uh, kids and especially girls. They are the world who are really, really, really uh, impacted by uh, this uh, uh, pandemic. But for us, it's really important to be there, support this kind of activities with civil society organization. Passionate students from diverse secondary schools took the stage eloquently sharing their perspectives on human trafficking, the profound impact it has had, and the daunting challenges they see in confronting this hidden crime. Several reasons that makes we children born with trafficking in persons include poverty, social and cultural norms that perpetuate exploitation, such as gender segregation discrimination, stigmatization, and the likes. Government of women trafficking through the various government including one, enacting and enforcing anti-trafficking laws and policies that will help explore and apprehend traffickers. Secondly, supporting awareness campaigns and funding education programs. This year's team, leaving no child behind, underscored the urgency of the issue. Speakers unanimously called for strengthening legislation, improving enforcement of existing laws, and dedicating more resources to support and rehabilitate victims. My advice to the government is, first of all, if there's a way they can support, they should, they should, they should support the key partners in a way of eradicating human trafficking. And if they, and I, I also want them to actually do something about the economic situation of the country. Because if the country is good and everybody is doing fine, Everyone, people will not, people will not see traveling abroad as a way of escaping, uh, escaping poverty. Probably we had to, it had to do with awareness, like getting more awareness and all that. But we realized that the first tackle is to go to the young ones, because most of them don't, are not even aware of what is happening. Because you know this whole Japa syndrome and all that. Some people want to Japa, they don't even know what they are going there for. So they, when they say when you're not informed, you're disinformed. So it's important to know the right things to do, even if you want to travel. You have to travel for the right reasons. The World Day Against Trafficking in Persons events underscored our collective duty to protect the most vulnerable and work those award free from exploitation and slavery. Emmanuel Olubobukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.